in October 2010, Yossi and I spent three weeks in Israel celebrating the Sukkot holiday in Jerusalem and visiting family and friends for two weeks in Tel Aviv. It was a treat to have Jonathan and Deidre with us for part of this time. For a little change of scenery, we decided to hop over to Egypt for a quick three-day visit. Mea Sherim is a Jerusalem neighborhood where ultra-Orthodox Jews live. Before the holiday, the streets are teeming with people, shopping for the holiday, especially for the Etrog and the Lulav, which are on full display on the streets and in the stores. The Etrog and Lulav is examined very closely to make sure they are perfect and blemish-free ready to honor Hashem and perform the mitzvah of Sukkot. This is Mesha Arim. I'm in the courtyard. Everybody has a sukkah here. When sacrifices were offered in the Holy Temple, there was also a special pouring of wine and oil at the altar. On Sukkot, there was also a special ceremony entailing the pouring of water. The water was drawn the night beforehand from the Shiloh Spring, and this was done with great joy and happiness, with singing and dancing, and named Simchat Beit HaShoeva, the joy of the drawing. Today's Simchat Beit HaShoeva is a commemoration of that one in the past and a fulfillment of the mitzvah to rejoice on the holiday of Sukkot.
This is the Sukkah at the Chova Synagogue. We can see a wonderful model of Herod's King Solomon's Second Temple, which was built in 514 BCE and destroyed in 70 CE during the Jewish revolt against the Romans. The model depicts in amazing detail the main hall of the temple, the Hechal, which also contained the Holy of Holies, the outer altar and inner sanctuary. The outer altar area was where the incense and sacrifices were brought daily by the Kohanim, the priests. This is the Mahme Yehuda market, often referred to as the Shuk. Very popular with locals and tourists alike, the market's more than 250 vendors sell fresh fruits and vegetables, baked goods, fish, meat, cheeses, nuts, seeds and spices, wines and liquor, all grown in Israel, as well as clothing and shoes, housewares, textiles and religious articles. It's always crowded and much fun to visit. Shall I 
Shulem Tilim Zeiger, Veshelam Dvavnik Moreb Zundel Hatsati, Shel Nagar Bair Haatika, Shmuel Ezer, Shel Purim Allegra Umishloach Purim Leeks, Shel Nagar Bair Haatika, Shmuel Ezer, Shel Purim Allegra Umishloach Purim Leeks. A columbarium is where pigeons were raised in antiquity for meat and for their dung, which was used as fertilizer. This large one dates back to about 200 BCE and was shaped like a double cross nearly a hundred feet long. Sometime in the Hellenistic period, a group of Sidonians settled in Maresha. This beautifully decorated tomb was used by Apollophanes, the head of the Sidonian settlement, for 33 years. <laughs> 